Hey guys, I'm Sammy with Total Betty Society. Today I want to show you a few simple steps for teasing your hair. I know I tease and poof my hair every time I put on my cheerleading uniform, but it also looks great for just a day in the office, a dinner date, or a night out with the girls. Teasing your hair can add volume and make your hair look a lot fuller. Here's how to get this great look. The tools I'll be using include a regular hairbrush, a teasing brush, bobby pins, and hairspray. This look is inspired by Ariana Grande's signature half up, half down look. I put my own twist on it by teasing it and adding a little bit of volume. I begin by brushing out my hair and parting my hair to one side just like Ariana does. Then I use my teasing brush and find the midpoint of my part and brush the rest of that hair back, smoothing it out and creating a much smaller part. Once I have my hair set to my liking, I spray it to lock it in because that will be the mold for how I want my hair to look after it is teased. I am now ready to begin teasing. I take the back half of my hair from where my midpoint was on and collect as much hair as I desire. The more hair I grab, the more layers I have to tease and the fuller it will look. Once I have brushed and smoothed out the back half of my hair, I grab this section at almost the very end and hold it all the way up. I begin teasing the bottom part closest to my head, moving the teasing brush in a downward motion starting from about an inch or so away from my roots going down to my scalp. I spray every section that I tease for extra hold. I continue to tease my hair in sections from back to front, spraying each section as I go. I break the back half of my hair into three sections to tease, but you can create as many sections as you desire to give your hair a less full or fuller look depending on your preference. Be sure not to brush this out before moving on to the front half of your hair. On to the front half of my hair, I treat the right side as its own section and tease it as much as I desire. Once again, I spray after each section. For the front left half of my hair, I break it into two smaller sections and tease each of those to my liking, again spraying them for extra hold and volume. Once I have finished teasing all sections of my hair, I use my teasing brush, not a regular brush, to smooth it all together. I use the teasing brush for this step so I do not lose any of the volume I just created which could possibly happen using a regular brush. I blend each section together and smooth it out until I am satisfied, and push up on the back of my hair to add a bit more volume. For a look even more similar to Ariana Grande's, you can pull the two front side pieces of your hair back as well. For my preference, I leave them down. I spray my hair once again and will multiple times throughout this process to help hold my look. Once I am satisfied, I then bobby pin my hair together to hold my look. to start curling my hair. First I use a heat protectant spray and then I use hairspray to help hold my curls. Getting ready to curl the bottom half of my hair, 
I simply split it into right and left sides. Using a curling iron, I make my curls turn away from my face by placing the clamp in front each time. I grab a section of hair and start my curl halfway down. I move the clamp multiple times until I have the whole section of hair on my curling iron, being sure not to forget about curling the very ends of my hair. I spray this side with hairspray to hold my curls and then move on to the other side. I continue with the same process, putting the clamp in front each time and curling my hair away from my face. Finished, I once again spray my hair to hold my curls. Next, I use my fingers to gently brush out my curls. I then spray my hair one last time. Ready to go! Now you've learned how to tease your hair and get Ariana Grande's signature look. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit TotalBettySociety.com for blogs, shopping, and much more.